Hi there, Marha Dad here. So this is a new video that I would like to speak about a very nice feature on Cisco IOS routers, which is the DHCP snooping. So what is exactly DHCP snooping? Say that you have a DHCP server running in your network to provide dynamically IP addresses to your devices, the end devices. Then someone may come and uh, plug a, a computer on one of the interfaces of uh, this switch uh, that is all the devices are connected and then he can uh, run a DHCP server there and uh, assign IP addresses to those users and then those users will take this IP address and uh, also the gateway which was going to be the gateway of that uh, attacker and then what you can do you can become like a man in the middle he can intercept everything that your end devices are doing so that's something we have to avoid and we have to use the feature which is the DHCP snooping to be able to solve uh, this problem. So how we can do that? I have designed a lab. Let's go first to see what is the lab scenario and then I will start uh, doing the configuration. So that is my lab scenario. So we have router one, which is normally acting as the DHCP server. So that is the router of the uh, company, which is connected to a switch and we have router three. So we have to consider router three is like an end device just to see what's gonna happen. Someone comes and uh, it could be a router, it could be a PC, whatever, because there are some softwares that can become the HCP server to run attacks. And then he connects that one to this switch and he makes the HCP over here. So he makes the DHCP server over here. It may happen that this guy, when he wants to request for the DHCP, then the first one who can answer, because we do have now two DHCP servers. So the first one which can answer and give the IP address would be the attacker. So uh, in this case, this router will receive an IP from this attacker, which is from the same range, of course, but uh, you can get a gateway which is different. So that means all the traffic that he's going to be doing will pass from this attacker router. Of course, this attacker has a way to be connected to the Internet somehow. So this attacker would be like a man in the middle and he can see everything that this PC over here is doing. And that's something we need to avoid. So what we have to do, we have to use the... Uh, uh, DHCP snooping that is provided by Cisco. So what we can do, we enable DHCP snooping on the switch. On the switch, we enable DHCP snooping and we say uh, on this DHCP snooping that the trusted port means the port where the DHCP server is connected is this port, which we can see it over here is gigabit zero over zero. So which say that is the trusted and everything else, all the ports of this switch are untrusted. So if someone plug a DHCP server on those ports, then there will not be any communication because the uh, port will not allow the DHCP offer. So that means the offering of the IP that the DHCP server is provided, it will not be allowed. Of course, it will allow the DHCP discover because if you don't allow the DHCP discover, how come this computer or uh, can get an IP? So he has to do the DHCP discover. So the discover on the DHCP snooping is allowed. And you know, on uh, the DHCP you have First, the DHCP discovered. Second, the DHCP offer. Third is the DHCP request. And four is the DHCP acknowledgement. And then he has the IP. So the first packet that needs to go as a broadcast actually is the discover. And that's something is allowed. But the discover, we know that it is end device. So that's not a problem. We allow it. But offer is not allowed. So that means this router, if you want to offer an IP, then it comes here. The DHCP snooping, you say, oh, you are not the trusted port then no, you are not able to send it. And then the communication can happen between this, oops, between this uh, 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 over here, this device and this uh, DHCP server, and then he can give him the IP address you want. So this is uh, what the DHCP snooping. Let's see now on the lab how this uh, can happen. So what I have done, I have put here a DHCP server on this router. I put the DHCP server on this router. So this has 192.168.1.1 as an IP, which is on the gigabit interface. And this one has 192.168.1.254. So we can know or we can differentiate the different uh, uh, routers. So we know that this router one, that is the attacker. And let's see, after I now made the DHCP server on both routers, we'll see that router one, it will get well, for IP from one of the two, the one who faster answer, then he can give the IP to router three. And that's something we need to avoid. We have to see how we can make these changes. So uh, then only router one is the one which provided. 
So uh, let's see now what we need to do to make this uh, work on the Cisco. So here I am on the, the uh, Cisco switch. Before we start working on the switch, let me show you what I've done again. So this is router one. If I say show IP interface brief, so you can see I put 192.168.1.1 and I enable the DHCP. So if you say show IP DHCP, um, let's see what we have to say here. Show IP DHCP pool, for example. You can see I have uh, uh, created uh, the pool, uh, which starts from 192.168. Actually, it should be .1.2 and not .1 because .1 is this IP of this router until this uh, address. So yeah, so that's uh, what uh, we have now. I name it my pool. If we go to the attacker router, also if I say show IP interface brief, you can see I put this IP. So this is going to be the gateway for uh, the uh, I, uh, the computer that is asking for the IP. So what I want to show you now, let's disable on the this is the main DHCP server. Let's disable the uh, interface on it. So that means uh, the DHCP server on this router will not be working. So I will go to the interface, gigabit zero over zero. Please look to the picture so you can see the interfaces. And let's do just shut down. All right, so I just disable this interface. So that means there is still one DHCP server, which is this one, which is the attacker. Now I will go to router three. And from router three, I will go to the configure terminal interface, gigabit zero over zero. This is the PC. And let's just enable the DHCP client. So to see if it will receive or request for an IP address from the DHCP server. And now we only have the attacker, right? So we should get an IP from the attacker. So uh, let's do that, IP address DHCP. So let's wait a little bit until this communication happens in the background, which we call it DORA, DHCP discover, DHCP offer, DHCP uh, request and DHCP acknowledgement. So you can see that he received an IP and this IP, believe it or not, is coming from the attacker. And if you want, um, we see that this is the IP it received, but look for the gateway. If we say show IP route, so it's saying anything has to go to 192.168.1.254. And 192.168.1.254, we said that this is the IP of the attacker. Very good. So now let's uh, uh, remove the, uh, uh, on the interface gigabit zero over zero. Let's uh, say no IP address DHCP. So let's stop that. And now what I need to do, I have to go to router one and again, bring the interface up. So we say no shot. Then in this case, now we do have two DHCP, the router one, and we do have now the attacker. Now what I want to do, I have to go to the switch. And on the switch, I have to enable the DHCP snooping and I have to make the interface which is connected to uh, router uh, one uh, which is uh, gigabit zero over zero. This one, it should be the trusted and anything else should be untrusted. So how to do that to enable first uh, the DHCP snooping globally. So we have to go to configure terminal. And here I have to say on the switch IP DHCP snooping. And that's all what I need to do. So IP DHCP snooping and then I would say enter. So now the DHCP snooping has been enabled globally. So all interfaces on the uh, switch are untrusted. So all what you see here as interfaces are untrusted. So that means no one can provide uh, the uh, DHCP uh, offer. Now I have to make the gigabit zero over zero the trusted one. But before I do that, because if we say here, do show VLAN, we can see that all those interfaces you have it zero over zero, zero over two, I think, and the second one, let's have a look. Um, zero over zero, one over zero and zero over two. So zero over zero, zero over two and one over zero, they are all inside the VLAN one. So that means we have to enable the DHCP snooping on VLAN one. Now let's do that. So we, again, we have to say here IP DHCP snooping VLAN one. Very good. That's what I need to do. Now I need to go to the interface and uh, gigabit zero over zero. And now I have to say IP DHCP snooping. And now we have to say trust. So this interface, we have to trust it. 
and all other interfaces, we should not be trusted because this is where the DHCP server is. So this is uh, or what I uh, need to do. Now, if I say show IP DHCP snooping, and we can see that gigabit zero over zero is the one which is trusted. Now, something important to mention. You can see by default on this interface that is the option 82 is enabled. So what is option 82? Sometimes what happens is that once the DHCP discover is coming from the end device, so it's discovering where is the DHCP server, it comes to the switch. The switch will add this option 82 and send it to the DHCP server. Some DHCP servers, they don't like this option 82, then the DHCP server will not answer back. All right, and then the DHCP will not work. So uh, then in this case, we have to remove this option 82. But before we remove it, now it is enabled by default. Now this is all what we need to do as configuration on the switch. Let me just save the configuration. And now let's check if uh, uh, the uh, router she will receive an IP from, because we have now the DHCP server on router one and on the attacker uh, enabled. So let's see from where he would get an IP. If he doesn't get an IP at all, then we have to come back and remove this option 82. Let's check. So we go to the PC and we say now we have to say IP uh, address DHCP. So IP address DHCP and let's have a look. So we say do show IP interface brief. So at this moment, he did not get any IP. Of course, he will not get an IP from the attacker because we have the SCP snooping enabled, but he should get an IP from the uh, uh, normal DHCP, which is on router one. But I can see, well, maybe we have to wait a while, but uh, I think that it's taking too long. It's not yet getting the IP. So I think what we need to do, we have to go back to the switch and from the switch, we have to go to the configure terminal again, and we have to say IP DHCP snooping. And here you have this one, information option. But first we have to say no at the beginning because this is enabled by default. I don't want it to be enabled. All right, just I disable it. Now let's have a look if this is gonna work again or not on the PC. Well, what we can do maybe to make it faster uh, because uh, uh, then we can send the, the Dora faster. So I can say here shut down for the interface and I will say no shut down then the uh, communication will happen again. So let's have a look. Here we go. Directly, once we made shutdown, no shutdown, you see he got an IP address of 192.168.1.4. But from where did he get it? Did he get it from the this router or the main router where the DHCP is or from the attacker? Let's have a look. So if we say show IP DHCP binding on this router, here we go. You see he got it from router one. He did not get it from the attacker, even though the DHCP is enabled here. But if we say here, show IP DHCP binding, we can see nothing has been given. So we can see directly that it's working. And also, if you want, we can go to the PC and we say, show IP route. We see that this is the route now going from 192.1.1, which is the IP of router one. So this is all about how you can configure the DHCP snooping on Cisco router. So that is the video that I wanted to show you about a very nice feature provided by Cisco, which is the DHCP snooping. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put like on this video, press on subscribe and click on the bell so you are notified by my new videos. Thank you very much for the time you spent watching this video and until next time.